Hey there, you're welcome to another tutorial on SC Tools and I'll be showing you how to record pro vocals in FL Studio. And again, I have Lisa Nasa. Thank Good you. to have you here again. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a cover of Sabrina Carpenter, Please, Please, Please. And I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. But first, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your session so you get the best possible recording quality, okay, before we start the recording. So when setting up our session, the first thing we have to do is make sure we have the correct tempo right here. It's 107. And to detect the tempo, you can just double click the beats, right click, detect tempo. Most times it'll be either 75 to 150 or 100 to 200, depending on how fast the song is. But this song is relatively slow, so 107, okay? Then next you want to do is come to your options, audio settings, and choose your audio interface. And you want to have your buffer length as low as possible. I recommend anywhere below 100 samples, okay? Just go as low as possible. So the next thing you're going to do is create your mic input. And I'm going to come right here, right click, come to track mode, audio track. Just pick an empty insert, okay? Uh, I could just do this, then rename and just say lead box. Okay, that's for lead vocals. And then you pick your mic, how mic is on input two on that mono, okay? Make sure you have external inputs only so that you don't have the effects we'll be applying fixed into the vocal, all right? And next you also want to do is turn off monitoring so that, you know, the artist does not hear themselves. So artists don't like to hear themselves. Then next we want to do is create a backup vox because we may do some backups and harmonies. Just right click, come to track mode, audio track, again, pick an empty inside. This time I'll leave some space and then again, rename it back up Vox. And you can see easily we have that. You can set the mic. Make sure this is also off, but we'll disarm it because we're not recording the backup vocals right now, just the lead vocals. And that simple, you have your session. You can set this up as a template so you can keep um, using the same templates anytime you um, want to record. So now we're going to do a test record to make sure everything is working well, making sure our mic is at the right level. There's no distortion making sure there are no signal pops and glitches because that can ruin a good recording. So I'm going to start from the beginning right here. And this doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a test take. No, I should give up. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, won't you leave him? She told me all that in plain words. Maybe I'll change your mind, yeah, I know I should go back and cry now Cause you give me reasons to You make me feel special Go back and turn around I gave you everything I did All I'm asking, baby So listen to it to hear a sound before we add any type of effect. No, I should give up. Friends are you out last night chasing girls around. It's ironic. No, I should give up. Friends are you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, won't you leave him? She told me all that in plain words. Maybe I'll change your mind. Now, if you notice, the beat is a lot louder than the vocal. So instead of just jacking up the volume of the vocal, just reduce the volume of the beat. That's a lot easier to reduce issue of distortion or clipping on your vocal recording. So what we're going to do now is just apply some effects just to, you know, control. If you notice, some parts of the vocal sound really loud and some parts sound, you know, quiet. So we're going to apply effects to even out those um, inconsistencies and just make it sound better overall. So I'm just going to drag this um, preset on the vocal right here. And just all I have to do is change the key because each song has a different key. Key of this song is A major. I'm just going to come right here to major key A. And you can simply adjust this if you want more correction. You can make it faster. If you want less correction, you can make it slower, okay? No, I should give up. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, won't you leave him? She told me you're that in plain. Maybe I'll change your mind, yeah, I know I should go back and cry now Cause you give me reasons to You made me feel special Go back and turn around I gave you everything I did All I'm asking, baby
So I think you can just take it like maybe the first part and okay. then we hear it. We'll just take it like in bits, okay? Right. Yeah. I know I should give up. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, you should leave him. She told me all that in plain words. Maybe I'll change your mind. Yeah, I know. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, you should leave him. She told me all that in plain words. Maybe I'll change your mind. Yeah, I know. I know I should give up. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. That sounds good. And if I turn off the preset, I know I should give up. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, usually. Now, I want you to know, regardless of the effects you add to your vocals, you need to make sure you have a great recording. The effect just simply enhances what is already good. Okay, it just takes what's good and makes it great. It can't take what is shitty or what is bad, you know, and transform it. Okay, I like this, but I think it could be a little bit more expressive. Okay. Yeah, let's try again. So, you ready? I know I should give up. No. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, you should leave him. She told me all that in plain words. But maybe I'll change your mind. Yeah, I know. I know I should give up. Friends saw you out last night chasing girls around the whole town. Well, you should leave him. She told me all that in plain words. But maybe I'll change your mind. Yeah, I I should go back and cry now But you give me reasons to You made me feel special Then go back and turn around I gave you everything I did All I'm asking, baby So when you have like multiple recordings Especially if it's one verse You need to make sure that it flows So I'm going to listen to this part Up until this part to Make sure that like it sounds like it's connecting Well, you should leave she told me all that in plain words But maybe I'll change your mind Yeah, I know I should go back and cry now Cause you give me reasons to You made me feel special Then go back and turn around I gave you everything I did All I'm asking, baby Let's add a little bit of reverb just to make it sound a bit more exciting. I'm going to send it right here. So let's create a reverb send, then come to sends, then come to reverb stock, since we're using just stock plugins today. And then you can adjust how, many, how much reverb you want to hear by playing with this knob. Well, you should leave him. She told me all that in plain words. But maybe I'll change your mind. Yeah, I know. Go back and cry now Cause you give me reasons to You made me feel special Then go back and turn around I gave you everything I did Please, please, please Don't prove I'm right And please, please, please Don't bring me to tears when I just did What do you think we should should we like just take only this part or take the whole thing? But I like this like I like from here. Oh, you know, just take the whole thing, then I'll blend it. Like I'll see which sounds okay, okay. better. Yeah. So what we're going to do next is record a second take, and I'm going to blend both of them. Now that is called comping, where you take a part of one recording and a part of another recording and try to pick out the best parts to make one main recording take. Just did my 
one okay. sounds more real. Like, yeah, I prefer this one. It makes okay. the emotion sound more real. Apparently, we didn't have to comp because this was just as good. In fact, better than the previous. So I, I didn't have to like cut parts up. Ask him, baby. So we're going to come to the now this time for us to use the backup recording just disarm the lead vocals and come to the backup and you can either arm it from the mixer or arm it from the playlist and one thing with backup vocals is that we may need to tune each one of them separately backup vocals don't do too well when you just group a bunch of vocals and use one tuning so we need to have different inserts for them okay so i may just come right here come to track mode Right, so I have all these um, parts. So if I need more, I can create more. Then just right click, rename, backup vox. So they are all renamed. So they are all backup vox. All I have to do is just make sure that um, it's linked. Let me unlink this. And then I can just create a boss. Come to track mode. Then route selected to this track only. So this would be, you can see they're all sent now to this main channel. Then I just call it back up boss. Because this is where I'm going to apply like all the EQ compression, you know, all of the effect. But for tuning, they're all going to be applied individually here. So to apply that to simple, just come right here let me delete this effect since i don't need it right now then highlight all your empty inserts then drag it right here so then make sure you come back and delete it from here so this saves you some time instead of like setting everything again from scratch on the picture so you can see now they're all routed here except for the um backup all the masking baby So now I'm going to apply some effects on the boss to really control the harmonies. I'm going to come to the backup vocal boss. Either one is fine and you know just dump it on here. And then you already have everything. Now there's no tuning here because you have tuning already individually on each track. So on your backup boss, there's no need for you to tune the boss. So you can hear much more control the back of vocal sound if I turn off the effects. Right. 
So let me turn it back on. You can hear it sounds much more comfortable. But if you want to go easy on the control, just open the compressor and relax the ratio, okay? So maybe you don't want it to be too tight on the vocal. Maybe on the vocal to be more expressive in the harmonies. I can relax it to maybe like three ratio one or two, even two ratio one. So you can hear that it sounds, you know, tight, but at the same time, not over controlled. Again, this depends on your intention for the production. Sometimes it's good to have really tightly compressed harmony. Sometimes you want to let it go loose a little bit, but not under controlled. Okay. So now I'm going to just create a reverb sound for my backup boss so I can give it more depth. Just send it in here. This is the first time I'm handing out. I'm handing this out. She's part of my recording academy, and oh wow, this is it. <laughs> so this wow, thank to you. you, thank you so much. Oh my god, he's an amazing artist, and working with her is just really nice and really easy because one, she's talented, and you know it's so easy sharing ideas and going back and forth with someone like Lisa Nasa. <laughs> So please, guys, follow her on social media, support her music. She's very consistent. She puts out covers and original pieces. And you can hear she's also a really good songwriter. So please support her. Um, you know, she's definitely a star. So, Thank you. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.